I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved The toss off the line, but I just let it flow away Yeah, I let it float away I let it float away I let it float away Float away Previously on Sailing Zatara. We left Curacao and embarked on our longest passage so far. Our kids share their feelings about sailing as we sail the 750 miles to Cologne, Panama and get prepared to go through the canal and continue on our journey around the world. arrived in Cologne, the customs official came right out to our boat and got us checked in. We then contacted agent Roy Bravo to begin lining up the details of our Panama Canal crossing. He explained all the rules and regulations, told us we'd need to have two more officials on the boat during the two-day crossing. Then we received our date to cross the Panama Canal. We made it to the canal. We made it to the canal. How exciting is that? I mean, come on. Who thought we would make it that Who far? Who thunk it? Who thunk it? <laughs> Who thought that would happen? I didn't think it would happen. I was like, wow, but it's getting a lot easier. Uh, what else have we got going here? We got, uh, I got my cell, my, 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 uh, oh, go ahead. I got my, um, Genoa, the factory Genoa that came with the boat being shipped down here from Florida because I, I think it's going to be better, a better downwind sail for us. Um, we, got insurance and we don't need another person. Oh, that's right. Let's talk about the insurance. So Lloyd's of London agreed to insure me in the Pacific, along Ecuador, through the canal, to the Galapagos. And then once we get the Marquesas, they'll insure me as normal. The only caveat to it is from Galapagos ah. to the Marquesas, I gave them, I had to give them a $100,000 deductible, which means my boat was worth $200,000 and I, I lost it at sea between the Galapagos and the Marquesas. I'm only going to get a $100,000 check for my boat. What else? Yeah, sorry, I keep interrupting you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's lots of kid boats here at uh, Shelter Bay Marina in uh, Cologne, Panama. Tons of kids. It's a really safe place. Our kids go off and play and swim and hike and um, it's really nice here one of the big questions that I see a lot on, on YouTube is it looks like it costs a lot of money to uh, to do what we're doing and I tell you what so we've been out here a hundred and something days now and we've run into all sorts and types of cruisers from from Florida all the way through the Eastern Caribbean down to Panama and it doesn't you don't have to have a big budget to go cruising to, to go to choose a slide I mean, I see guys doing it for probably ten thousand bucks a year plus the cost yeah. of their boat, and then there's people who are doing it for a hundred thousand a year plus the cost of a two million dollar boat. It's not a million dollar deal. You don't have to have millions of dollars to do what we're doing. Yeah, and a lot of things can be you can fix with duct tape and super glue. I mean, you don't even have to yeah, I mean, buy duct, parts. Duct tape, <laughs> super glue. Put the duct tape on your wife's <laughs> mouth, and then you super glue it just in case because women have a way of getting that off, and you don't want them to get that off. You but we have four kids on the boat too, so our our costs are a little more. And our, our kids destroy things, so, you know, with uh, it's all relative to what you're used to and what you're used to in your previous lifestyle. Uh, if any of you guys have any questions, we'd love to answer and start fielding questions. We'll just have a Q&A session at the end of some of our videos. And uh, email me at keith at sailingzatara.com. 
And we love the comments. I love reading comments. I love the encouragement in those comments. You know, I, I don't care how strong a person you are. Affirmation, positive feedback always feeds the soul. That's true. It does. Yeah. That's humanity. That's uh, whether it's petty or not, that's humanity. And we all like the encouragement. And, and so we do like we do like the feedback and we like the positive comments and we like uh, we like the negative ones too. I mean, I, I don't have any issues against somebody saying how they feel or what they think. Yeah. So, but you know, we it's, it's just encouragement. And, and that is the huma humanity side of it, the human side of us. We've learned a lot about sailing and what to do and what not to do through you, you guys and what y'all tell us, hey, you ought to look at this and hey, you ought to look into that. And, and yeah. uh, you know, we, we sift through and when we have time, we research stuff that y'all say. And so it, it actually helps us um, to survive out here and helps us on our journey of, of what parts to get and what, um, yeah. what things to use and not to use. And There's always another way to skin a cat. Hey, thanks for watching our channel and we hope you stay tuned and once again, subscribe if you like it. The jungles of Panama are teeming with beautiful plant life and animals. The howler monkeys were an amazing sight to see and hear. We didn't get any good drone footage of the monkeys, but we definitely got to hear them. Think I about don't it. like it. Think if you were in here during night mode, night time. <laughs> oh. One takes a crap on you, you're gonna know he's <laughs> You're gonna there. make that sound. So these are our friends we met here at Shelter Bay Marina. So our plan is to go to Machu Picchu, Ecuador, with these people. To go ride llamas. I yeah. want to yes. ride llamas so bad. Are we going to ride llamas? I want to. I'm going to make think you can ride a llama. Yes. My name's Scotty. I'm a sailor from the UK, uh, from London originally, right? And have been um, working professionally in sailing for about the last five years, on and off, and then made that full-time career uh, early last year, I think, really. And um, recently, I've ended up tied in running Discoverer in the background there, which is one of the old Challenge 67 boats, as part of um, the Longest Swim, which is the project we're, we're doing now. So the Longest Swim is a, a rather out there project. It's, a, um, it's an attempt by a French American, uh, Benoit Le Comte, to swim the Pacific Ocean. So he's planning on walking down a beach in Tokyo and starting swimming. And he's gonna swim eight hours a day, every day, till he reaches San Francisco. Ben fulfilled his first extreme dream in 1998. He swam the entire Atlantic Ocean. 
over 3,000 miles from the coast of Massachusetts to Quiberon, France. You have to push yourself there, so they had to go in, in, and do that part. It's very, it was very difficult, and the part also that all your senses are deprived. Uh, the water, still the same thing. You, uh, you, uh, um, you feel the same water. You hear the same noises. You have, the same, you don't smell anything. Uh, so day after day, all that becomes much more difficult to deal with. I was, I was very fortunate. I never had any uh, accident. Like I got hit by the boat or something like that. Ben did this to raise money for cancer research as a tribute to his father. The remarkable two-month swim took him years to train for, and now he prepares to swim the Pacific with the crew of the Discoverer at his side. So we do everything to support him, basically. So all along the way, we're going to be shadowing him um, and keeping him safe, giving him somewhere to rest, recover um, when he stops swimming at night. And when he stops swimming, we mark the exact GPS location um, that he stops swimming and hold station overnight and then drop him in the same place in the morning. So he swims every mile, every single one. We've been running mainly with a crew of about eight, and uh, Discoverer is quite a big boat to only be running with eight people. We've got no furling head saws, everything's hank on, everything's manual winches, so it's very labour intensive to run. So with only four people to watch, that's that's a lot of hard work. And um, at the moment, we've got a canal transit next week, and then we should be up to San Diego uh, mid March, where we're doing a bit of a refit on the boat putting some more renewable power on some of the systems we need because the actual expedition is going to take six months which is going to be a non-stop six months offshore so we need to make sure the boat is completely ready to go for that we need all the supplies all the systems in place we all provision 100 percent for six months yeah all in one go although we'd like to try and arrange a rendezvous and we're definitely open to if someone wants to come out and do that then we'd love to do it but i uh, we unless we have that confirmed beforehand i need to set out assuming that we're going to be doing six months so, so if our viewers want to find out about you guys, what, are they, what, what can they do to find out? So we've got our website, which is thelongestswim.com, and uh, we're also putting a lot. Uh, the website's got the live tracker. Um, it's got daily blogs that we upload from the boat, uh, all the pictures and videos and that sort of things. So there's a huge amount of information there. And then we're also on Facebook um, under The Longest Swim, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and all the social media. And that following and sharing the story is a massive part of what we're doing. Uh, you know, the whole project runs on us being able to share that information, our adventure as well. So I think it's going to be quite the adventure, quite unusual, as well as all the research we're doing and Ben's progress as well. It's not every day a man swims an ocean. That's right. Well, Scotty, thanks for talking to us Thank today. Thank you very much. It's been brilliant to meet you guys. Good luck with fair winds. Thank you. The day before we were scheduled to leave Cologne and cross the Panama Canal, Kate fell out of a tree. She landed on her head and her arms and had to be rushed to the hospital. So tune in next week to find out whether we continue with our crossing or deal with broken bones.